Yellowstone National Park, a jewel of the American wilderness. Vast forests, majestic mountains, erupting geysers and roaming wildlife draw millions each year. But beneath this beauty lies a colossal secret, a slumbering giant of unimaginable power. This land's serenity is a mask, concealing a force that has shaped continents and altered climates. The ground here is alive, not always in gentle ways. Hot springs and bubbling mud pots aren't just tourist attractions, they're windows into a world of molten rock and ancient fire. These are the faint sighs of a sleeping beast, reminders that peace here is temporary. Yellowstone's earth is a thin crust over a chamber of immense power. Imagine standing here on a calm morning, feeling the warmth of a geothermal feature. All seems right but what if this calm is just the prelude to a storm, not of rain but of fire and ash. A storm that could rewrite the story of our planet. This is Yellowstone's paradox breathtaking beauty, born of volatile power. The land's tranquility is only surface deep, beneath the earth breathes shifts and waits. One day the giant could awaken. The question is not if Yellowstone holds power but when it might reveal it. For now we marvel at its wonders but we must never forget what lies below. Yellowstone is both a sanctuary and a warning. What is a supervolcano? Unlike ordinary volcanoes, it forms a vast sunken caldera, not a towering peak. This caldera is the scar left by eruptions hundreds or thousands of times larger than Mount St. Helens. Yellowstone is one of the largest and most active supervolcanoes on Earth. Beneath it lies a massive dynamic magma chamber, miles wide, fueled by heat from the planet's core. Pressure builds over millennia, driving Yellowstone's geothermal wonders and its terrifying potential. The park's history is written in cataclysmic eruptions. Huckleberry Ridge, Mesa Falls, Lava Creek. Each eruption left a massive caldera and reshaped the land. These events ejected ash across North America, darkening skies and altering climates. The geological record is clear. Yellowstone's past eruptions were among the most powerful on Earth. Ash from these blasts can be found thousands of miles away, buried deep in the Earth. The scale of these eruptions changed the course of life on the planet. Understanding this history helps us grasp the stakes. Yellowstone's beauty is a product of its violent past. Its future, though uncertain, is shaped by the same forces. The supervolcano is not just a relic, it's a living system. Scientists study it relentlessly, searching for clues. The stakes are global, not just local. Yellowstone's story is a reminder, the Earth's greatest powers often lie hidden, and sometimes, they awaken. If Yellowstone were to stir, the Earth would warn us. Geologists monitor the park constantly, watching for signs. The ground would swell, pushed up by rising magma. GPS stations would detect these shifts, subtle at first, then unmistakable. Earthquake activity would spike, with swarms of tremors and larger quakes, the land would shake, signaling magma's ascent. Geysers and hot springs would behave erratically, old faithful might erupt unpredictably, new steam vents could appear. Temperatures and gas emissions would rise, especially sulfur dioxide. These changes would signal magma nearing the surface. Scientists would race to interpret the signs, issuing evacuation orders as danger grew. The world would watch, holding its breath. The question would shift from if to when. Days or weeks of anxiety would follow as pressure built. The earth would groan, the giants stirring beneath. The final moments before eruption would be tense and uncertain. Every signal would be scrutinized, every tremor a warning. The slumbering giant's awakening would be impossible to ignore, and the world would brace for what comes next. Then, the moment arrives. The ground above the magma chamber collapses. A colossal plume of ash, gas, and rock explodes skyward, reaching miles into the atmosphere. The sky shatters as pulverized rock and superheated gases surge upward. Within minutes, everything within 60 to 100 miles is obliterated by pyroclastic flows, hotter than an oven, faster than a hurricane. Towns vanish, the landscape turns to a gray desert. The eruption's roar is deafening, felt for hundreds of miles. Shockwaves trigger further earthquakes. Darkness falls, ash blots out the sun, turning day into twilight. Cities like Salt Lake City, Denver, and Boise are buried in ash within hours. Ash accumulates rapidly, collapsing buildings and snapping power lines. Roads become impassable. Infrastructure fails. The devastation is immediate and overwhelming. And this is only the beginning. The true impact is just starting to unfold. The ash cloud spreads, carried by winds across the continent. 
Within days, much of the United States is blanketed in gritty, choking ash. The sun dims, skies turn brown, and daily life halts. Air travel ceases. Ash destroys jet engines, grounding flights for weeks or months. Transportation and supply chains collapse, isolating communities. Crops fail as ash smothers plants and poisons soil. Livestock suffer, water sources are contaminated. America's breadbasket becomes a dust bowl. Food security vanishes. Power grids and water treatment plants fail under the weight of ash. Breathing outdoors becomes hazardous. Masks and goggles are essential. Homes offer little protection as ash infiltrates everything. Survival becomes a daily struggle. The modern world is brought to its knees by ancient dust. The crisis deepens with every passing day, and the world watches, helpless. The impact goes global. Ash and sulfur dioxide encircle the planet forming a veil that reflects sunlight. A volcanic winter begins, global temperatures drop for years, growing seasons shrink, monsoons falter, and agriculture collapses worldwide. Food shortages spark famine and unrest. The global economy reels as supply chains break and markets crash. Nations struggle to feed their people and panic spreads. Communication and rescue efforts are crippled by ash and chaos. The human toll mounts, not just from the blast but from starvation and disease. Civilization's fragility is exposed. The world is forced to confront its vulnerability. News from the disaster zone is scarce and grim. Relief efforts are monumental but often overwhelmed. The lesson is stark nature's power dwarfs our own. We are reminded of our place on this dynamic planet, and the world is forever changed. A Yellowstone super eruption is a terrifying but rare possibility. The odds are tiny, perhaps 1 in 730,000 each year. Our civilization has never witnessed such an event. Earth's cycles are vast, our time here is brief, but the consequences, if it happened, would be severe. It would reshape landscapes and human history. It would test our resilience and adaptability. Yellowstone's power is a reminder. True strength lies in the Earth's depths. Nature creates and destroys, indifferent to our plans. We study, respect, and marvel at Yellowstone's wonders. The giant sleeps, likely for a long time, but its presence teaches us humility and perspective. Our world is beautiful, dynamic, and sometimes dangerous. We must never forget the forces beneath our feet. That is a truth as old as time itself.